So how I know it's been a few shows, but how have those few shows in the tour been so far? Amazing. Two in. Last night was absolutely dancing. Is it? Last night. I think we even crowd surfed from the place like that. Yeah, they were holding the guys literally right up to the ceiling. I loved it. It was in the Finns in Wyoming. That's it. Finns rock my heart. That's awesome. Um, so I saw that you started playing older stuff again. Yeah. What made you decide that? Because I know you had a period where you only played like pretty pictures and where'd you rather be? It, it wasn't that we. Well, all we've done really since we released the last record was support tours yeah and when we're doing these support tours we're always trying to get people into our family as we are now yeah. and we you know we were showing them our new stuff as much as we could because that would be the record they would go out and buy yeah and then we, we just kind of carried on promoting the new stuff and we were waiting for headline opportunity to play the old stuff and it just took so long yeah it kind of became a thing you know everyone was like why are you playing the old yeah, stuff yeah. anymore and we was like as soon as we play headline tour we promise we'll play all the old stuff again so we've been merging it back in the set you only get like 30 minutes still on a support, so yeah. I mean, you can only play so much, yeah. but now we can, you know, make the set as long as we want and we can just add. Yeah. And actually, we found a, a new vibe creeping back in. Obviously, the new stuff's yeah. a little, you know, it's a little softer, it's a little yeah. slower, if you like. Yeah. And there was so much more aggression in the food stuff, and we, I think, we forgot that that yeah, existed. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, when we started playing songs like Social Suicide and um, Favorite Client, yeah. It, we, we felt it again and it was quite a buzz. Sweet. Um, so, I know it's been about a year now, so what was the reaction? How did you find the overall reaction for the second album? I think it was good. Yeah, it really good. Yeah. It's still like, it's, it's been a self-promoted thing to get yeah. to know, so no label, no PR behind you, it's just totally everything we sold has been out the back of the van, all the merch stands, all the things on the It's just building it, but the people who have the album know it, love it, and it's just... Yeah, I was gonna say like, because it's quite a difference between the first one and the second one. So did anyone actually kind of, did any fans kind of take that badly? No, if they have, they haven't really told us. Yeah. Um, everyone who we've, it's just been constant praise for it. Really, yeah. It's been a good thing, but I think it was a bit of a shock to a lot of them, but they didn't necessarily. Yeah. This for it. Yeah. And I think we're looking forward to doing a bit of a merge of both of them on the next record. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so what can is that what we can expect from the new album? I'm hoping so. I, yeah. I saw little whispers on like Facebook and stuff to say they got you got your new album coming up. We're pushing, we're pushing ourselves a little bit as well. I mean, we we don't want to just stick to the same style. Either. Yeah. We don't. I mean, food is a style. Devon Heart is a style. We don't. Mm. We don't want to be bound by what we've done already. We do want to create. a so a, a third body of work, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like I said to you earlier, we are, we are enjoying the aggression of yeah. the, the old stuff creeping back in. And, um, and now we're on the road a little bit more and, and, and we're getting gritty again. Yeah. It, it's, I, I, it can't help but creep back in, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the thing is as well is if you keep writing the same sounds and the same stuff over and over again, you do just gradually get bored with yourself. You get bored of playing your own stuff, mm. you know? Yeah. We played food, we must have done like 500 shows in yeah. two or three years. Yeah. And we, we, at the end, we, like, we just wanted to do something different, you know? We wanted to even slow stuff down or mm. be more harmonies. We wanted yeah. to think a little bit more, I think. Yeah. And um, then we almost came around full circle, and then we wanted to, you know, we wanted to start going bonkers on stage again. Yeah. So oh, great. It's been nice, you know? We're just trying to tick all the boxes for ourselves before we think about it. When I, I know that might sound selfish. Yeah. Well, we, wrote, we wrote food on the road. Yeah. We, were like, we had that mini album we were going around, and we wrote um, Devon Your Heart in a studio. Yeah. And you could, those vibes are definitely reflected definitely, quite clearly yeah. in, in the pair of them. Um, I totally had a point. I completely forgot what it was. I think that's it. Well, it, yeah, it, it was like going. Right. Right. Like right? Yeah, definitely. We're looking to blend the two next time. Yeah, yeah. And um, so yeah, I saw you at Download, and yeah. that was probably the best time I think I've ever seen you. Wicked. And you, how was it for you guys? It's bangy. Really yeah, it was just mental. Right? Like, if I did cheeky crowd surf and that. Yeah, I know. I wanted to get involved. It felt a bit like, you know, how we remember the shows used to be. Yeah, right. And um, it was just good. It was a little sort of tick because we've been trying to claw our way back into some sort of yeah. kind of you know, good place again. Yeah. Because literally, when, you know, when you take two and a half years off and you don't post anything on yeah. MySpace, you don't write any music, you yeah. just kind of you just kind of disappear. People do forget you. Mm. And we didn't expect that. Mm. And they had. So we've been, you know, waving again yeah. ever since. And that, that was just like a, 
a sort of pleasing result at the end of all yeah. the hard work we've done at the end of the last yeah. 12, 18 months. So. And it was a struggle to get on Stonington. We worked. We, yeah. we pushed and pushed and pushed. They didn't want us to <laughs> They, they <laughs> didn't want us to Really? Because they were just like, guys, you've not got enough going on. Put yeah. some extra record, etc. Yeah. And we got on there and, and, and smashed it. So. Definitely. I was going to say, like, it was must, what, 2007 to 2013. Like, it's quite a long time to not play download if you're. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why we were so surprised that the, I mean, you know, the, the tent was packed and they yeah. were going, you know, I couldn't yeah. believe it. We didn't expect that. You know, we felt, we, we were felt blessed to be there and lucky to be there and happy, but to get a killer show out of it and to yeah. be, to have the response like that from Donington was just fantastic. Yeah, that's perfect. Brilliant. And of course, I made him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can't get better. But... That was amazing. Were you there? Were you at the show? No, I can, you didn't make it. I was gutted. It was banging, it was a, a massive experience for us. It's one of those things where, again, it's a whole different ball game, you know? Yeah. And I mean, so you suddenly, like, literally, how far away was I from Tommy? And I was like, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a lot to get used to. We, we'd love to do a hundred of them. We yeah. think we could be great on a stage that big. Yeah, definitely. Well, again, as well, the, the Devil in Your Heart stuff seems more suited to that kind yeah, of venue. It's like and more epic. Yeah, no, it is, yeah. yeah and it, 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 it fills out the PA better and, the, and yeah. the, the food stuff is so much more suited to a venue like Doyle's yeah, today, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So to put, I mean, we were, some of the shows we were doing were, going back to your earlier question about, you know, just playing the Devon Heart yeah. stuff, they were big festival shows and they yeah. were arenas with um, uh, British Lion, for example, and yeah. we tried a few food numbers in there and they weren't quite, yeah. they weren't having the same impact. So to bring it, bring them all together for the club stuff is, is, is cool. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so yeah, like, I, like, I went to O2 yesterday and I went into the little green room and like, I had like sort of all different like celebrities around. Just like, did you meet anyone cool? Who's knocking around? Who's knocking around? Yeah. Who's knocking around? Who's knocking around? Priest Force. Yeah. Who's <laughs> 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 the boxer there? I can't remember. There's, there's loads of people. There's always people around me. Yeah. Like, it's funny because they really are at the top of the tree, you know. And even like yeah. big celebrities want to hang with them and they've just. They've just been doing it for yeah. so long, they're not, they don't seem really interested. Yeah, they, yeah, right. They keep themselves to themselves. Like, we know we know Steve really well. Yeah. But it's funny, like, they, the way they come off stage, they literally get shipped into cars. And, I bet, yeah. You know, they get taken off straight away, mm. they get car reads on their gold. Yeah. Um, it's a uh, different world. Yeah. Okay. I spoke to, this, to you about this before, but um, has, like, Steve House kind of, like, taken you under your wing, under his wing? We think so, yeah. I mean, he, he loves the stuff. He, yeah. loves, he loves the new album. He wasn't mad keen on the first record because I actually gave him that years ago. Yeah. Um, he liked it, but he just, it just wasn't really his thing. Yeah. When the new stuff got a bit bigger and tailored a bit more for the bigger stage, he really liked it. Oh, great. And, um, yeah, he's really behind us now, it seems, and we, we're hoping one day to maybe get another crack at the maiden. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that'd be nice. Just stay in contact with him then. Yeah, I bother him daily. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going back to the, f the first two albums again. I'm trying to read this like five minutes before I came. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ever the professional. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you wish you had a shorter gap between those two albums? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what we were doing. I mean, I, I've explained this like, so many times in different ways, and I still can't put my finger on what happened. We didn't realise it was that long. Yeah. We just didn't. We were caught up in London. We were partying, we were drinking, we were just, we weren't getting on the three of us, it was quite weird yeah. at that point. Um, and I think we just slipped out of it, that it, it actually became daunting to get back to work. Yeah. And we just kept putting it off, you know. I don't think we admitted that either. No, we it was it, to yeah. ourselves. Yeah. yeah. We didn't admit it to each oh, other. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we, I don't know, it was a, it was, it was a bit dodgy. Weird. Because we were also <laughs> living together as well, you know, it's like, there was no reason why we weren't working, we weren't rehearsing, we yeah. were just existing in the same flat, going out, whatever, going to watch gigs, hanging out, we, were st we still thought we were eco chain and we yeah. were two years before, yeah. and we hadn't really realised how far we'd slipped away from anyone being bothered about us, we were even trying to get a press review after this period, but yeah. it's possible, you know. Really? Wow. We tried so, a few times, there are a few moments where we got our act together and, yeah. you, know, we, you know, you know, like if... If you spent a week in your flat and all of a sudden you realise you look like this, so you have a shave, you <laughs> yeah. buy a new shirt and you go out and you give it some effort. Yeah. We did a few of them and then it just slowed down again. Because, I don't know, we were kind of trapped in this warehouse in London. We couldn't yeah. rehearse in it necessarily. And we had no money either. And yeah. Trying to rehearse in London with no money is just yeah. impossible. It's a nightmare. I don't know how musicians do it yeah. in London. It's, it's so difficult to Actually, it was as soon as we got out of London. We left London. Yeah. 
We just got a house. We moved to a place called Woven in Milton Keynes. It was just it was just a squat house basically. Um, 